Good morning, this is Natalie with Discover Real Estate. I am in Vista Del Mar, which used to be called Playa Yankee. Um, we are just up from the access to the surfing beach, so it's a very close walk down there, and that's where you can go to access the surfing. So let me show you this house. It's perfect for surfers. Um, 10, 15, 20,000, replace some screens and stuff, put in some windows and it'd be perfect. Um, if you wanna really fix it up, maybe you're looking at 40 to 50,000 to you know, put ceilings on it and stuff, but it's a great location. So it's got this fantastic patio. These doors across the front are all screened in and they open up. Um, let me take you into the house here. You've got a nice kitchen and it comes with everything that you see here. So, um, now, it doesn't have soffits, it has screening up here. So if you want, you can just replace the screening or you could put fascia and soffit on and put rain gutters on the outside if you wanted to do that. Um, but you've got an island here. You need some protection from burning the wood. People are lucky they didn't burn the kitchen down. So, uh, but it comes with some random stuff in drawers. There's some pots and pans underneath here. The big important thing, there is a wine bottle opener. So, but uh, it comes with everything you see here. And the way it's set up is there's two bedrooms and one bathroom. The bathroom is in the middle. The bedrooms just have curtains on them for now, but you could put like um, sliding barn door style doors on, would work great. They've got um, solid windows above the bed with glass, so that will close. That is a little attic area above the bathroom that you have access to from the other bedroom. But like this open triangle here, if you want audio privacy within the bedrooms, obviously you need to do something else other than um, have it with just a curtain <laughs> and the open triangle there so now this bedroom and the other bedroom each have a little patio off the side so it's got a nice railing all the way around the patio this patio faces um, the entrance so for the road coming in but they've got they got like cute things here and there in the house um, they have some pulleys like up there, there's a pulley hanging. So for like hoisting up surfboards, stuff like that. They've got hammock hooks inside the house, which is really cool. Um, here you have a nice bathroom. I like the rope detail on this sink. That's something different I haven't seen before. You got a nice mirror, hello. So nice big bathroom space. I like the, the use of the brick and the white columns nice tiled shower now here this is just screening it's not a solid window so when you have a storm you're going to get rain but at least it's coming into the shower but the little shelf with the the hooks to hang stuff on that's a nice feature and the bathroom does have a door so you can shut the door in the bathroom and then you have the other bedroom which is a duplicate of the first now here the screening is gone so that would definitely need to get replaced you know you could put up mosquito nets if you wanted um or you could enclose the soffit and the fascia and you know you could put insulation on this and then drywall the one nice thing about it right now with the ceilings like this is you see all the electrical lines and boxes so if you wanted to add any more lights or anything you could do that and then put styrofoam insulation up and then drywall on top of it so you know this bedroom here and then that's the access to the little attic space above the bathroom that's where the owners store some personal things but they haven't been here in years so um, and then here's the little patio off of the master bedroom or which the second bedroom, they're both the same, so one is not really a master. Now, there is another house built right beside. You can do a retaining wall or something, give you some more privacy if you want. The property goes to, let me get my finger pointing to the right spot, right there. So where that retaining wall is here on the patio, that's the edge of this property. So you could put up a privacy wall or something if you wanted. The trees in front belong to you, so you could trim that some and open up your view more if you wanted to open up the view. But just a nice big space. 
the, the lot is kind of a rectangular shaped lot and the house is built at the back side of the lot at the high point. So everything from like here down to the house below belongs to this lot. So all these trees right here belong to this property. So you could trim them back some, open up your view a little bit more if you wanted to open up the view. But the house hasn't been used in a long time, so it's very dirty, it's very rustic. It needs a lot of polishing, but it's a little gem. The bones look good. I don't see any cracks, nothing that is alarming to me. Um, and it has another level below. So let me take you down to the lower level. Now this level could be finished off and you could do a lot more with it. So from here, the stairs go down to the parking area. I'll take you down there after I show you this. But the lower level is very much like the top. You know, you've got the, all the exposed beams and the electric lines which are nice if you want to adapt anything another nice thing is they have extra tile here so if you wanted to move something in the kitchen like redo the island or whatever you could redo that and have the tile to fix the floor here's the back of the house and so basically this retaining wall behind is on the property line but this is just a big open space here. There's lots you could do with this. If you wanted, you could add more rooms. They kind of have like a room down here that was used by a caretaker. So it's just got wood across the windows, but this could easily be turned into another nice bedroom and bathroom. The bathroom is large, but once again, no real windows. That's just screening up there. So. And then there's kind of like a bedroom, little kitchen caretaker space, the grill. The house comes with everything you see, except for the motorcycle. And there's a vehicle here too. And then this above the bed was just used for some storage. So, but yeah, put real windows in this instead of wood across the windows. And you could make this into a nice little bedroom. It's got the same tile in it that they have upstairs. You could enclose part of this space, make more bedrooms or leave it as it is and just have a big open patio space so so basically here at this corner this is the property line okay and then it goes down to the back side of that little white house about 20 feet from that house probably is the end of the property line this is parking driveway space this vehicle belongs to the owner here's a nice look at the outside one of the patios off of the bedroom lots of potential for this house you could do all kinds of stuff with it now let me take you down the stairs to the parking And here's the driveway that came in. So, but there's plenty of space here to make a turnaround space, make it bigger. So, but then the staircase just kind of winds around and goes to this parking area. And here we are. So the construction next door is new. They've still got to do their landscaping and everything, but um, they're working on it. So, And I would put up some kind of a privacy wall just so you don't see the neighbors so much. But lots of space with this house. You could do so much with it. It's at a good price. The bones are good. It just needs a little bit of TLC. <laughs> it needs a little bit of cleaning up, fixing up, putting in real windows, doing various things. I'm going to get rid of that piece of wood with nails sticking up so someone doesn't step on it by accident. But uh, beautiful view from up top so and lots of space on this lot. I love my life. Come join me.